the term is about to end. There are only three weeks left, and Atlas has managed to keep up with most of the course's work. But the upcoming weeks present themselves as pure hell. As they go home after class, their head is full of racing thoughts. How will they finish five assignments and prepare for four midterms in less than a month? The youngster also hears their dad's voice, talking about how most kids nowadays are too soft and don't know what life is about. Atlas walks faster, as if doing so could help them escape that enormous mass of worry, also known as anxiety. Once at home, they grab something to it and sit down, staring at the wall with a tired look on their face and cramped shoulders. The student finds the food almost tasteless. They think of their mom's understanding gaze, always soothing and loving. They lay on their bed with the intention to take a nap and wake up to study. But fear overcomes them. They feel uneasy. The sacrifices of the past year, like missed out meetings with friends and postponed hobbies, might be in vain. This is also why, day by day, a sense of despair has been building up within them. As Atlas drifts into sleep, their inner voice blames them for wasting time instead of being productive, as if it were forbidden to rest. The next morning, they turn off the alarm and read a message from their best friend, who is also struggling with the end of the term, and is asking them how they are doing. They stare at the ceiling, thinking of how the past year has gone by. Then, they record an audio message explaining their feelings and hardships. The youngster fixes their eyes on the school bag, feeling a sudden sense of courage. There has to be a way, a strategy that can help them through all of this, and they have decided that they will master it.